Well, 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 what do we have here? I got the keys to Maverick. The sun's a little wonky, so I gotta wear my hat, kind of, because you can't really see my eyes. But what is going on, guys? Today we have, have a doozy of a day. I'm gonna be filming two videos today, potentially three. But we're gonna start off with today's main content, which is a review of a Chemical Guys product that I've been waiting to try since Christmas. So if you go watch my Christmas special, which I will throw right up there, because I forget that this flips and the, there's a hole. It'll be right up here. Anyways, I got, oh, I'll show you guys later, but I got a special product from Chemical Guys that I have been wanting to try for a really, really, really long time. So Philip was over and my neighbor was nice enough to let me use his phone cannon and, his foam cannon and his pressure washer. Jeez, I've been trying forever to say that. But we have the foam cannon, we have the pressure washer, I have everything set up. I'm going to start a wash and wax on Maverick today. Philip drove the truck this past week. It rained once or twice, so he's not really the cleanest, but we will get him cleaned up and all prettied up for Philip. And I will give you guys my honest opinion. This is not a paid review, it's nothing like that. This is my, my honest opinion of the product. It is, it is, uh, it's gonna be a good one. So we need math pulls in the gravel. So I did a car, a truck washing video before, but just to recap, if you guys haven't watched it, which I will link up here as well, but I don't know if you guys are actually gonna watch it or whatnot, but there's a process to washing these vehicles, to washing pretty much any vehicle and it's a longer process but it's the right process it's a process that will get you the best results so you start with the wheels once you're done with the wheels you coat the whole vehicle in snow foam if you can't coat the vehicle in foam or suds or soap or whatever you just start hand washing but you got to make sure you rinse off the panel before you do it wash it rinse after you wash it and then roll into drying and then once you're done drying you can add your waxes, your sealants, your glazes, your all these other all these other extra protective properties to protect your paint and get that paint as vibrant as possible and protect it as long as possible. So, with that being said, the product that we are reviewing today and that we are using on both Maverick and Jolene is the Chemical Guys Beer Scent Snow Foam Auto Wash. Now, I have used it once and it didn't come out the greatest. My last foam cannon didn't want to work properly. I lost a pin in it because there's little pins that hold the uh, head of it together. So I lost a pin in it. It would spray water and it would leak and I wouldn't get suds and it was just a bad thing. So today we have our snow foam cannon, our snow foam cannon filled up with our beer scent snow foam. Now, yes, it's beer scent. Yes, it does actually smell like beer. No, it probably won't get you pulled over and arrested, especially if you can prove to them that you're not under the influence. So we, uh, we're gonna crank the soapage on here because you can crank how much soap comes out on top and then you can adjust the fan width and all of that. So we're gonna get started on Maverick's wheel. Okay guys, so I got the truck all rinsed off. Now we're going to fill our wash bucket with one to two ounces of our snow foam. We already have our foam cannon filled up, so pretty much now you guys get to see what this foam cannon can do. We're gonna see how well this, all this stuff works and we can actually get into our review. I've already cleaned the wheels on the truck and they are looking spicy. Bubbles! Bubbles! One last rinse. And now for the moment of truth. All right guys, so I've already done one solid pass on Maverick. Lay down a nice thick layer of sleep. A nice thick layer of suds. That's really hard to do one-handed. 
So as you can see, we laid down a nice thick layer of suds. It smells a little like beer. It kind of gets, the smell gets diluted when you put it in the water and all that. But as you can see, I mean, the foam cannon's working not amazing, but it's good for the Walmart foam cannon. I mean, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get the truck all finished up, washed off, cleaned off. And we will roll it into the garage and once we get it in the garage that's probably when i'll catch back up with you guys just because the sun's beating down i don't want to leave any water spots on the truck i don't want to leave any soap spots on the truck so i need to get this done but you guys do what you do the best and i will be back in literally a second okay guys so we have maverick in the garage now drip drying uh, i've already dried off everything but the hood and the windshield and the roof and the back windows but i've dried off everything else the priority drying was on the bed where the sun was and on the tailgate philip is finally out here he's awake he was asleep the whole time that i was washing his truck um but i gotta be honest not too keen on a snow foam unless i have a bay where i can actually do it because with the sun it dried really really quick so i think my old methods of using just you know a standard hose and two wash buckets was a little bit better i got a little bit better of a clean i feel because snow foams are just supposed to kind of like wash the truck for you but i like actually you know knocking all the bugs and dirt off but i mean i don't know it's not my truck what do you think from what you see looks pretty good i won't lie it looks good oh yeah all right well i'll use the beer scent on yours and it don't smell like beer you can smell the truck it really only smells like beer when it's, you know, in the bottle. When it's out of the bottle, it just kind of, yeah. It gets diluted by the water too much and you can't really smell it. But I think the next step for this truck is going to be a quick detailer and then wax it. So that way Philip can have a clean truck for the weekend. And hopefully the week, hopefully it doesn't rain too much. There's supposed to be rain in the forecast, but... We will see because the weather always changes and the weathermen are usually never right. Okay guys, so we now have Jolene in the garage. Maverick is back outside. Philip took care of a lot of stuff on his truck. He did the wax and all that stuff and he cleaned his wheels, he cleaned up his chrome and now his truck is out here and it is my turn basically. But I figured out a method to the madness. The snow foam works, I was, I just had to do it on my truck too. But you got to go pretty much cut the truck in half and do one half or do one side, then do the front, then do the other side, then do the back. You have to do it in sections. I figured that out, especially when there's sun and stuff like that. So Philip got his truck looking good. I'm getting my truck looking good. But this is where I'm going to leave you guys for this video. We might be filming some other stuff today. I don't know. We will see. But be on the lookout. We're going to be definitely getting a one take truck review update for Philip's truck because his was number three. I'll put the link there. It's a really crappy video, so that's why I also want to redo it because, well, I'm tired of it looking like trash. But do what you guys do the best. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know when I upload. Drop a big thumbs up for me. And please, please, please comment and tell your friends to come check out the channel and subscribe because the more subscribers we get and the more views we get, then we can start funding the project that is our Daytona truck meet build. And this will clearly have to roll over in the next year, especially with all this Corona stuff going on. So without further ado, and with that being said, I will catch y'all on the flip side.